In this video, I'm going to show you how to lower your pH and alkalinity in your pool using a dry acid. And the active ingredient in a dry acid is sodium bisulfate. You'll also see it marketed as a pH reducer or pH down. And the sodium bisulfate I'm using today is from In The Swim. They sell a 30 pound bucket, a 50 pound bucket. They also sell the sodium bisulfate in bags. And for safe handling, you can see inside the bucket, it also comes in a bag. And there are many benefits of using dry acid over the liquid muriatic acid. The dry acid is safe to handle and won't burn your skin. There's also no fumes from the dry acid. It's also not a very strong oxidizer like muriatic acid, so it won't rust all the metal around your house. It also has a longer shelf life than muriatic acid. Another great benefit is that if you get any of it on your deck or surface around your pool, it's not going to leave any stains or damage the surface around your pool. So this is a very safe and easy alternative to muriatic acid. And even though it's a little more expensive to use a dry acid to lower your pH and total alkalinity, it is a very safe way to do it. So the safety factor definitely outweighs the cost. And you'll need a few things when you're using a dry acid. You're going to need some kind of measuring cup or scoop. I also recommend wearing gloves, even though the dry acid is safe to handle. Whenever you handle any pool chemicals, I always wear gloves. And you also need a scale to measure the amount of dry acid you're going to be adding to your pool. You'll need a 5 gallon bucket to pre-mix the dry acid with water. Also a wooden stick to stir it. And on the back of the bucket you're going to find the directions for use. You're also going to see some recommended dosage based on 10,000 gallons of water. You can also use an online calculator to get the exact amount of the sodium bisulfate to add to your pool to lower the pH or alkalinity. So if you have really high alkalinity in the pool, you're going to use a lot more of this product to get your alkalinity in range and lower the pH. Since the alkalinity is a pH buffer, it's going to cause you to use more of the product with higher alkalinity. You want to check the pH in the pool. I have the water sample here. I'm going to use a digital pH meter. And the pH here is coming in at 8.16. I'll just call it 8.2. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and test my total alkalinity here. So the total alkalinity is coming in at 124. So if you're using an online calculator like poolcalculator.com, you want to enter in the gallons or the volume of water. Next you want to enter in the pH level that you tested in the pool. This one here was about 8.2 and I want to lower it down to 7.6 which is my goal. And then you want to enter the alkalinity level which was 120 in this pool roughly. And then it will tell you how much of the dry acid to add to the pool to lower down the pH from 8.2 to 7.6. So according to this app, I need to add 30 ounces of dry acid to lower the pH from 8.0 to 7.6. I'm gonna take my bucket and fill it with water. And you're gonna use a bucket of water to pre-dissolve the dry acid. Let me go ahead and get the dry acid and I'll add it to the bucket. And according to the online calculator, I need to add 30 ounces. This will lower my pH from 8.2 7.6 in my 14,000 gallon pool. Okay, I'm at 33 ounces. So according to the scale here, I'm at 30 ounces. So you can see that 30 ounces isn't a lot of the product. It's about half of this DE scoop here. And of course, this is a little bit longer process since you have to measure the dry acid as well as mix it and pre-dissolve it in a bucket of water. Now you want to take a piece of wood or a piece of plastic and go ahead and stir up the dry acid in water. And I always let it set for a few minutes so that it completely dissolves before I pour it into the pool. You want to make sure your pool is on and running for at least three hours to circulate the dry acid in the pool. I'm going to go ahead and pour it along the perimeter of the deep end. So I'm back here after a few hours to test the pH. You can see that the pH is now 7.73, almost 7.6. So you can see that that 30 ounces of the dry acid lowered the pH down from 8.2 to 7.7 .7. and so that's a quick look at using dry acid to lower your pH in your pool it's a very safe and effective way to lower the pH in your pool